Welcome, greetings, good afternoon. How are you today? Welcome everyone. Thank you, thank you very much for joining. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to this page and click the notification button to get more notification of this program as I put it up, which is daily. Thank you very much. How are you everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Who's there already? Plutonic, welcome. Thank you very much for joining. I appreciate you. Please share, share, share. Guys, please share, share, share. Ladies and gentlemen, please share this so that more people can join us. So today, I really do want to rub minds with you because, you know, we've been doing Nadeboye now for a couple of days. And I'm just thinking something. I, maybe I'm thinking out loud. You've seen the topic already. So I want more people to join and then I'll share this with you. For those on Instagram, the topic today is Pastor Enoch Adeboye, emulating Judas. Okay? Coded kiss, coded prophecy. You know, do you know what Judas did? Judas kissed Jesus to sell Jesus to those people that persecute him. All right? And this Adeboye as well. He's getting up to some really Judas characteristic kind of things. But, you know, don't take my word for it. Let's just have a look, okay? Let's have a look at this together. Because he tells this story. He's the one that tells this story. In the last month, during the Congress that they did in December, he, did, he was telling this story. Now he's telling this story again for the New Year prophecy. Sometimes I think these people, they give us all sorts of... All sorts of um, all sorts of kind of hints, or should I say confession, but people don't have any idea. We, we just dismiss it. We don't know when they are confessing. This is sort of a confession, and I just want us to look have a look at it. I might be wrong. Please feel free to share your thoughts and your opinion. Hello, Henry. Welcome. Hello, London Abbas. Welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. King of God, good times. Welcome. Hello, Tuli. Welcome. Hello, Lua Toyin. Welcome. Lai, welcome. Uche, how are you today? Ola de Pupo, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Usita, thank you. Charles, welcome. Uh, Bidemi, welcome. Arit, welcome. Adamu. Adamu, how are you? It's been a while. I haven't seen you on the live program. I hope you're okay. Hello, Floss. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining. Um, Plutonic has got his statement here. Hi, family of truth. Unto freedom we are called. And please come and smell the hot coffee. Jesus is our truth. I love it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, Hepsiba. Welcome. Thank you, Grace. Welcome. Hi, Laura. I want to see welcome. Thank you very much. Tuchuku. Welcome. Thank you, True. I love that. Welcome. All right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, true wrote Mayo Warora, Majeki, more people ye paeo. Ah, I want people ye buru gone. Okay, true, you know what, right? It doesn't matter if I'm here or I'm not here, all right? As long as that is that, that is um, what God wants for me, I'm okay. You know, I'm not afraid of death at all. You know, truth is true. A dare is saying that I should be careful. I shouldn't let pe these people kill me. First of all, they cannot kill me. All right. And if I they do kill me and I die, I, or I do die, they, first they cannot kill me. But if I do die, I'm a, it's a win-win for me because I go to heaven. Why am I going to be afraid? You know, it's a lie that they told you that you believe when they tell you that you shouldn't die. We are all going to die. <laughs> no, I'm not afraid of them. Let them kill me if they can. I challenge them to kill me. All right? So what? Is, that's another challenge. I challenge them to kill me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and if they kill me, I'm going to heaven. I'm good. I will see Jesus. So how is that going to be a problem? Uh-huh. I'm not afraid, okay? I'm not afraid of death, you know. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Adax. Oh, you know, I, I don't, this Onyeka, when she was young, thank you. A lot of people say that, but I, I don't even know who Onyeka is. I tried to Google her, and I'm not, anyway, I, I, I think I have a good idea now. Even though I don't know her personally, I have a good idea who she is now. She used to sing and something to do with Sonic. Guys, don't let me be distracted. I'm, I'm a very playful person. I'm going to guys start getting distracted. Uh, thank you very much, King of Good Times. King of Good Times said they can't kill me. So true, 
you know they can't you know and even when they kill my flesh right and i'm no longer on this earth at least a little bit of people that have been bold and i've had the sound mind and the videos that are out there is enough for me i'm good either way all right but they cannot kill you they cannot kill me this is not possible they're not they don't have that capability i know a lot of things happens in nigeria and people die they die because it's their time to die all right what is the point to look at look at this one that is 70 um enoch enoch adeboye is 70 plus you know what is the advantage of the longevity of his life now tell me you know so le don't let us be silly about things that you know they're going to kill you they're going to this is how they shut you up that is how they shut you down because you don't want to die and we, uh, you don't have any choice you're going to die that that matter is not debatable everybody is going to die so let them kill me if they want to kill me but they cannot kill me i can just tell you that categorically i challenge them to kill me okay what about that they can hear this kill me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. try it anyway thank you very much hmm we are kings and queens we don't bow before anyone guess what i'm talking about aguru well done no one has the power to kill you henry thank you that's what i'm talking about guys this is how you have to be right you cannot be in this world worried about people killing you or not killing you you know it's 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 why do you even believe in god why do you believe in christ why are you going to to church and saying that you believe in god and blah 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 it's rubbish if you're afraid of death jesus christ oh god i i don't even know how i can get through this message this message through you must not be afraid of death i was not afraid to be born okay so how can i be afraid to leave this earth it is fallacy it is a lie that you believe in your head that you cannot die or you should be afraid of death being afraid of death is rubbish it doesn't mean anything you know death has no sting you don't know anything oh jesus oh. anyway guys let's just continue so the, today's um topic again pastor enoch adeboye yes um emulating judas and this is true he's emulating Ju judas if he says this is coded uh coded case jo judas gave jesus a coded case it was a, you know um, i'm going to identify jesus by kissing him and then adeboye comes with coded prophecy i say like father like son adeboye judas is your dad he's your father the daddy your daddy god daddy god that this guy keep calling it's likely to be judas you know daddy uh, daddy the uh. judas is full of greed adeboye is greedy you who ask anybody any congregation for one billion naira to build something greed okay enoch or more issue that's why i put there that's in yoruba the enoch is the child of or oh, yeah it's a child of issue satan so that's what i put there guys please don't be afraid all these people that are afraid of death please come on you, you know you can't do anything about that uh d mayor says please i beg you in the name of god don't talk about the ding bat at the boy today he's finished let's concentrate on someone else but i've already put the topic up and i've got plans already because me i'm live i'm live today and nobody can kill anyone if they could boko haram wouldn't <laughs> thank you on the one hand you don't want to talk about it but on the other you make a very good point d of course why can't they go and kill adeboye you know that one I, I can't remember his name now there's one guy one of those dingbat pastors uh i think he's a b or me he's a b or me he said that i can put people to sleep i can put people to sleep okay go and put boko around to sleep he be or me i mean the, i mean it just beggars belief go and put boko haram to sleep uh-huh did you ring they cannot kill me laura i know that i know that guys seriously they can't kill anybody you know they cannot even kill a fly mosquitoes in nigeria they can't kill mosquitoes in nigeria mosquitoes are still flying and beating people and people are having malaria so go and kill mosquitoes first before you come and kill my huh kill mosquitoes in nigeria you're always boasting that you open a door and you tell the nations i mean that ah, that is another thing guys i'm sorry it seems like i'm just 
going from different different be your me to adeboye and then oyedepo when i just remember these people i just think that they're crazy isn't this adeboye was saying uh, oyedepo was saying that he opened the door uh, the window in one nation and he said this nation is finished i uh, can you say this mosquito in nigeria is finished These people are real crazy. Man, I can't believe them. Yeah, I just say mosquitoes are finished. Full stop. <laughs> One second. Let me go into the I will so that I'm able to read your comments properly. Wow. Okay. Am I in the wrong Facebook? Uh oh yes. Thank you very much, guys. Please share share before we start. So I played a video where he's lying. Is lying video. I'll play that and then I'll play the we're finishing today. Don't worry, okay? After today, we're not doing a deboye for a while. Until although some people are already sending me some information of what it did recently, but you know, I'm not going to bother do that. I'm going to go move on to somebody else now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry, 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 guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So let's go, guys. Please share and then we get started straight away now. So I'm going to start with this one. And then we. So because it tells the story, the story a lot, okay? The new name is in the text I read to you. He said, The elect of God. The. Elect of God. Now, what is the meaning of the elect? I'm sorry, I have to speak this up. The favorite, the beloved, the one who God has chosen to love. Now, uh, Honestly, this pisses me off. Adi Boyes pisses me off like nothing else when he lies like this. Every time he's telling stories, he has to aggrandize himself and then lie on God while he's doing that. He, everything, every, when he tells stories, he's lying. Just take it. He's, um, he's somebody that put half truth and, and lies together and presents it as truth to the gullible. You know, it says that the one who God chooses to love. So he is implying that God chooses to love some people and God does not love some people. That is an implication because when you say that God chooses to love some as elect, it means that God doesn't love some people. But this is not where I'm even going with this, okay? Let's watch this and watch the other video with his prophecy. Let me just give you an example. John chapter 13. You can read it from verse 21 to 26. John 13 from 21 to 26. The Lord was at dinner table with his 12 apostles and um, he began to talk and said that one of them was going to betray him. And everybody was asking, is it me, is it me? And it wasn't forthcoming. Then Peter turned to John and said, ask him. If he doesn't tell everybody else, he will tell you. So John, and you know his, his title is the beloved, drew close and said, Lord, who is the fellow? Now there were 12 of them at the table. And Jesus said to him, well, don't let me mention his name. But I will show you a sign. We'll take a bit of bread, put it in the stew, put it in the mouth of the fellow. Whoever that fellow is, that's the traitor. Don't let anybody deceive you by saying that God loves us equally. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Ah. Okay, I mean, if God doesn't love us. I've done this already, guys, again. But I, I don't understand how this man can boldly come on the pulpit and say these things. Why do you go to RCCG? Why do you follow Adeboye when you, 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 you believe what is, if you believe what he's saying, that God doesn't love you equally, why are you even around that God? Why are you even worshipping that God? This God, I don't know which God Adeboye is talking about. It's not Almighty God that gave his only begotten son. You know, if you're going to RCCG today, please explain yourself. You know, or you're going later today, explain yourself. How can God not love you 
equally as God loves Adeboye or anybody else. And you love that God. How, how is it possible? This man, and the reason I'm showing this video again is because I want to show you that this man, he's actually the Judas that is in that story that he told. And this is how they leave messages. They leave, um, this is how they, they, they confess. But you guys don't know. I don't think that, that I think that he's confessing right here. You know, he told the story where Jesus was saying that somebody is going to betray him. But I actually think it's Adeboye that is betraying Jesus. Adeboye is the one betraying Jesus. Now he's mentioning coded messages, coded prophecy. You know, yes, coded prophecy. But he didn't tell the story to the end. He told the story where Jesus told them that is somebody is going to betray him. But not saying that he actually, it is me, Adeboye, that I would betray Jesus. You just, uh, just like my, my father Judas, your father Judas used a kiss. Now I'm also going to use the code as well. This thing is going to unravel, you know. You would see, you know, you everything would unravel with time. But this man himself is the one that is going to betray Jesus. For the second time, this guy, they've already crucified Jesus. They've already merchandised Jesus, you know. So he's merchandised Jesus. He's betraying Jesus by by your first fruit that you're going to give to him that is another crucifixion right there he is pretending that he is entitled to your first fruit that he himself is jesus so here is confessing but you don't you're, you're not even seeing it i don't think anyone is seeing it because i was just sitting down minding my own business jj i was just minding my own business and i was thinking why is this guy keep telling this story you know uh this rccg 2018 holy ghost congress day four you told this story about Judas, about John and Judas betraying Jesus. Now, 2019 came. You told the same story. And this time, it's about coding the prophecy. Is this guy crying out for help? Is he saying that, look, I'm going to do something? Guys, please, watch out. This is a confession. Let's continue. He loves me more than you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So if he loves you more than me, that means he doesn't love us equally. There are some people before they call. You see, he's trying to get people to believe that God doesn't love you and I equally. Let's continue. God answers. They have a kind of relationship with God that is not common to man. And now we're explaining. Because we're going to pray now very soon. After I became born again, I told the Almighty God, I don't want to be an ordinary Christian. I don't want to be like anybody else. I want to be special. Wow. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Adeboye, that's exactly how Judas is as well. Judas doesn't want to be like everybody else. Like Satan as well. Satan also said, said to Jesus, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like anybody else. I also want to be like you. I want to take your throne exactly. Greed. Covetousness. That is it. I mean, how many times can this guy tell us that he himself wants to be like Jesus himself? He wants to be Jesus. He's not even like trying to emulate Jesus. This guy wants to be the Jesus that you know. He's presenting himself as Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we began to talk. It will interest you to know that at least in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and the first fellow to call God daddy. Mm -hmm. What the hell does that <laughs> Okay, it would interest us to know that at least in Nigeria, you're the first fellow to call God daddy. Well done. Well done. Good job for calling God daddy. Let me get my baby, my little baby to laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nonsense. Okay, let's go. So we're going to play this other video now. Thank you, for baby that was laughing. So there is this prophecy. Let's listen to his prophecy. The same story is told in Holy Ghost Night. He's telling the story again. Let's hear it. In the year 2019, 
the devil will have no part in your money. Mm. I decree that the Almighty God will bless you abundantly. And as he provides for you abundantly, you'll be able to do his work abundantly. I decree that the Almighty God who has brought you into 2019 will support you throughout the year in Jesus' name. So shall it be. <laughs> in Jesus' mm. mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let me hear you shout another hallelujah. Please be seated. As the year was running to an end, yeah, liar. The line is the line is starting now. Mm -hmm. As usual, I I sought the face of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Father, what is the new year going to be like? Mm -hmm. And then we have a little problem. The little problem is that in Nigeria, this is election year. And then Look at this guy. You've seen this video times and time again. So you went to sort God. Guys, I can't get enough of this. Honestly, I could do this for a whole month. Okay? But I won't. I will stop today. Alright? You went to God. You went to sort him. I mean, when you, went to, when you go to sort people, are you the one that you're going to dictate to that person too? And then this guy is now lying on God and saying that he can bend God by informing God that knows everything that is election year in Nigeria. So God does things according to the uh, the location. It's, based, it's not about truth anymore. It's about location and election. Election that can be moved or no election at all. So you want to tell God that there is um, it's election year. I mean, stop disgracing yourself like this. I, I've never seen somebody that, you know, deluded the, himself to the, to the public like this. Stop it. It's nonsense. Mm. Anything I say could be twisted by by who? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody is twisting anything that you say. They just hide. They're not they're just analyzing what you're saying. They're not twisting it. Are they way? Okay? Stop deceiving yourself. All right, with your fake laugh, it is not a twist. They are analyzing it now. People are using their minds the mind that you've asked them to suspend for so many years. They're using it, they're thinking, you know. But in back in the days, you tell them not to think that they should give everything to God while you are busy using maths to mess them up and, and keep people in your plantation. So now that they're thinking, you're saying that they're twisting it. You're an evil person, you're just like Judas, like your father. Okay, just the story that you're going to tell, you're telling the story of yourself, the story of your life. That's what the story that is telling. This story he told you in Congress last year, last, which was less than a month ago, is telling the same story again. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Why don't you continue the story? Exactly the quote that your father Judas used to identify Jesus to the people that persecuted Jesus. Hmm? Why don't you say the story to the end? This guy is talking about himself. Full stop. My politicians. So, Lord, I want to know what's the new year going to be like. Guys, does any politician ever talk about Adeboye? That is this guy. He lies everywhere. He's even right lying on the pulpit. He said that everything that he said will be twisted by politicians. There have you anybody heard? Please, this is a question. It's a genuine question. Have anybody heard any politician ever? said anything about Adeboye? Hmm? Anybody, I'm waiting. Anyone. If you've heard, uh, heard any politician mention Adeboye or twist anything that Adeboye has said as Adeboye has claimed on the pulpit. Anybody. Let's think about it, okay? All of you, the people that are in Nigeria, the people that are here right now, the people that are going to watch later, you know, let's identify if this guy is just, even by this statement alone, you must know that Adeboye is a liar and is not to be trusted, okay? Have you ever heard any politician talk about Adeboye and twist anything that Adeboye said? Politician, just like he mentioned, though, let's, 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 let's pause for a minute. I want to see. Capital, no. Thank you, Morayo. Anybody else? Leke, you can call in as well, okay? Because I know you are watching. So, Go ahead. 
Yeah, you didn't go to church today. So go on. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Anybody, please. I'm waiting. No. That's three people already said no. Adebo is a joker. Pop it. <laughs> that Milala said pop it comedian. No. Okay. I have not heard any politi politician talk about, uh, about him. Thank you. That's five now. He, his, pre his prediction are not relevant to them. Thank you, Banke. So anybody, you see how this man just lied there in front of, he says he's claiming God. Look at how he just stood there and lied. Hmm? You see, nobody has, 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 has a very shallow understanding of the word of God. Adeboe has a very shallow, excuse me. Yes, Mrs. Olojo, no. Any, I mean, doesn't it hurt you that you've ever believed in this guy that lies like this? Doesn't it, believe, doesn't it hurt you that you ever trusted this man that lies like this? Even in 2019, this Baba is still lying. When did any politician, anybody, any newspaper, anything that you've ever seen that any politicians have ever talked about Adeboye and twist anything Adeboye have said, please come out. The man is a liar. Full stop. Exactly like his father Judas is the way that he acts. He pretends that he's part of Jesus. He pretends that he is of God, but he's not of God. Who lies? Okay, now we know that he lies. Who is constantly lying? Who constantly lies? Judas. Satan is a liar. So, I mean, come on. Is there anything for debate here? Do we need to debate this any further? We could just finish this and just have a little chat. And just have a chat. General chat. You are, he, he, this guy is saying this himself. You know he's a liar. My back put the drunk. He's a coded liar. Is a blatant liar. Ah. <laughs> Ibong, <laughs> Ibong, I thought Ibong wish to be against us. I think it's not for us. So. Ah, ah. He's blatantly lying and saying that politician will twist it. But no politician has ever mentioned anything. They are the ones that give, give them fake predictions. And even after they gave those politicians fake predictions that they will win, the politicians never come out and say anything about them. They just keep quiet and they, they let you scam them. How many politicians have you scammed, Adeboye? You tell them that they will win, they will be successful, and they're not successful. And they never come out and say anything against you. They are too afraid because they think that you curse them. Did you raise? Scammer, scam, scammer, scam, scammer. Olegbe, Olegba. So this uh, uh, politician is only if Kariam, the uh, pastor is only he will take it. Mm -hmm. huh? So let's 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 go. By politicians. But uh, so Lord, I will. <laughs> and is it is it getting the congregation to say that? You know, is that by who? This guy is very, very clever. You know, he's not going to own up to this, though. Hmm? <laughs> you mean, Maya, why you are pol pol politics to Adeboye? Whoa! John said that is Maya, why I'm the politics. I'm not politics, though. I am Maya, hmm? I'm a child of God, a daughter of the Most High. Mm-hmm. 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 So... Who is the politician? Why do you say the politician's name, Adeboye? Mention one politician that is going to go and twist your words. Is that in Nigeria, this is election year. Mm -hmm. And anything I say will be twisted by, by who? <laughs> um, I don't, I can't hear what the congregation are saying. But you wouldn't even, is it, <laughs> by who? <laughs> this man is dangerous. I don't know how guys, how we haven't seen this for a long time, and it's been a long time coming, but it's dangerous. Thank you, Grace. Yes, I know it's getting better. The more I speak, the more I, I it's getting it's getting better. So I'm encouraging myself too. Thank you. My politicians. So Lord, I want to know what's the new year going to be like. And yet, I'm even afraid that if you tell me why are you afraid. If you are afraid, why did you go to God if you are afraid? Con artist. This man is a con man. 
If you are afraid in the first place, why did you go to God? Unsolicited. God did not even ask you to come. You just go and you go and trouble. That's why I said that. When this man is saying, God, uh, my God, or whatever, you don't know what God this one is serving. I believe that this man is a son of Judas. I'm telling you. Because he's doing everything just like Judas does. Pretending, lying, deception. You know, he does everything like him. That's why I'm saying that. Is Adeboye is dangerous? Thank you, Adekule. Is everything resembles Judas? <laughs> Let's go. I really want. I really want. To, I'm finishing today. That's it. This today is the last day of this. So, Lord, I want to know what's the new year going to be like. Little problem. Mm -hmm. The little problem is that in Egypt, he's telling G, he's, you're telling God that i want to know what uh 2019 is going to be like but god you because you don't know you're too busy you know you're far 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 away so let me tell you what's happening in in the world and in nigeria and west africa is that it's election year i mean who do you think you're talking to Adeboye? who the hell do you think you're talking to huh i know you're talking to a bunch of mumus over there but please the mumus will still wake we are going to wake them up from their slumber. So can you imagine? So you went. I don't bless I don't know for four. It's a lot for for real. So God, God, God. Hmm. Uh, what's going to happen in 2019? Tell me what's going to happen. Ah, but I'm even afraid though. God, what you don't know is that ah, you know, it is election year in Nigeria, and I'm afraid because whatever I say, politicians will keep, shut their effort. Shut the f up, liar! Liar, dingbat! How can you even? I mean, imagine God. Imagine God Almighty. So you go in His presence and say, uh, "You think that God is a gossip like Him?" Uh, so God. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen in 2019? Hmm? Ah, just me now, my brother. Just me, just me. Eh. Uh, so that I can tell the people, ah, but God, though, you don't know. Uh, you know what's happening, eh? 2019 is election year. That's what you don't know. Let me tell you, it's election year. I me, mean, I'm afraid, my brother. Please, I'm afraid to talk to these people. Why do you even open your mouth? Who asked you to talk to them? Who asked you to give them prophecy? I want to know, eh? Who is asking for prophecy? Who begged you for prophecy, for God's sake? Eh? Oracle said that his Christianity is a way of consulting Oracle. It's a Babala who combined with Judas' little helper. Mm? <laughs> Dufras is, is, is starting a drama. Cast and crew, Adeboye and his God. So he just go, eh? 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Look at look. Oluwa jo mo jo Oluwa jo mi lo ju didiri. My our God will disgrace you soon. Disgrace me how? What did I do that God is going to disgrace me? Eh? Me, I'm not afraid of all those shit nonsense prayers that you pray. I won't do anything for God to disgrace me. How is God going to disgrace me? What did your own father do? Adeboye die. God is disgracing Adeboye like this. Eh? Didiri. Look at the didiri. My our God. Did, look at all the name. Oluwa ju ju jomilo ju ade umi oluwa pelu mi murayo mi ode didiri look at names <laughs> basic why don't you just put your birth certificate on <laughs> why don't you put your birth certificate and put it on your on your profile didiri eni ra jomilo ju ade umi oluwa pelu mi omoro ye what the <laughs> Oh, yes. I, my friend, let me let me help you out here. Let me help you. You're my friend. You know, everyone is all good. Please, get out of here. Get out of here, man. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Get in Ibu. Say that. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. 
do me a favor, please. Look at her profile. She looks like Christmas masquerade. Listen, yeah, I don't have time for you today. All right? With all your best certificate name that you put on there, I'm not interested. If you want to be a willing slave, be a willing slave. It's not my problem. Okay? You're free to be a slave. Oh. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Am I good afternoon? Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is Uday. Hello, Uday. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. this, most of this comment from these uh, uh, followers of this poor, I don't like you to keep on reacting to them. That's yeah. the first thing I want to say. Yeah, but some you people like it, to. Uday. That's the thing. Some people like it. You no. don't like it. I want you, to. You, you, Mm -hmm. you, you, don't, you don't need to react to them. Mm -hmm. Then, let me say something. Mm -hmm. You know, you, uh, uh, way back in 2003 or thereabouts, mm -hmm. this is the way mm -hmm. nearly causes our life. Well, nearly you know, what? It nearly causes our life. Whose life? It's a convoy. The causes, we need, uh, it's a convoy that causes us death. We nearly died. Ah. We visit that bus. Yes, it is that was he was coming for his Abuja special Holy Ghost service. Mm -hmm. So he was going to his uh, hotel somewhere in Jabi Ichida Chida Ichida Chida Hotel by Ichida. Mm. So around around Mabuchi joining Apacha Apacha Expressway, his convoy. They just the police the show us mm -hmm. we nearly run into the other side of the road. Mm. So when I saw the people were just shouting Jesus, Jesus, about it is that was going there. So I saw the mm -hmm. I saw the mm -hmm. you know how diplomat put the the flag of the nationality close to their bonnet. Mm -hmm. Hello? I'm listening to you. I saw it. Mm -hmm. I saw it him. Mm -hmm. I saw it him Church of God, and they will. Somebody said, ah, that's a Jew. Somebody that was involved in this thing, said, that's a Jew. I said, this man is a criminal. <laughs> you know, I said, this man is a criminal. You know, in that shocked we were in now. People, almost everybody there, they just turned and looked at me. <laughs> man of God, you yeah. call a criminal. I said, he's a criminal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's what a criminal. Other kind of what other kind of thing joined me? He said, yes. What I said is right. Mm -hmm. Those people, when I said this man is a criminal, they were just looking at me as if I'm devil. Mm -hmm. That to show you, that to show you the level people think about this these people in Nigeria. Yes. Then mm -hmm. people see them as they are the intermediary between us and God, and whatever they say will happen, even without God's consent. Uh -huh. Yes, that's how people see them. And at that time, I was talking about maybe probably many of these platforms now we're still members of their congregation. Yes. Them, you know, mm -hmm. Because I, I saw the life of these people. Mm -hmm. When I saw the way they're going about their message, their prosperity, healing, and all that, mm -hmm. and the way they were living their little ostentatious life, it was not a conformity with the word of God and coupled with the earlier missionaries that came to Africa earlier. Mm -hmm. Earlier missionaries, they went to Hintala, they were serving people, doing the real work of God. Then why did these people turn out this way? So at that, at that time now, I knew that these people, they were not from God. Mm -hmm. So, if you see, they, they are the departure the Lord because uh, that the priest has been on on the soil for more than two years now, 272, 18 speaking, and they have said a lot of prayer for him to die. He didn't die. No. So it comes to question. There are many of their followers that began to say, ah, ah, that he has done his important day fasting and all this for that they freeze that they DSA to die, and they are still alive. Yes. So, with God, did they call? Exactly. Because God is not an assassin. That's the question. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the God, the call, that's what the call will be praying here over the years. So, mm -hmm. that would be a, give people a clear picture that these people don't know God. Yes. These people don't know God. Yes, Uday. So, so how, do, how does this mean? God, the, yeah, so how does this relate to the person that I, I calling out on the platform? No, 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 no. What I'm saying, that was, that was, that was, I said that one because we are responding to them, but even if you don't to why they are here now, at the point they'll get to read me. Oh, I see. Not, I see. Yeah, I that's see. what I'm saying. Okay, okay. That, I that, see. That's why I said that. Too, because okay. if you're going to respond to them, that, that would take attention from what we're discussing. But they are here now, but they'll, they will stay with time and they'll get to listen. Okay. That people, they are, they are different here. 
They are criminals. Yes, yes, they are, they are criminals. criminals. They are. I agree. How can how can how can you collect the post you collect the post first fruit salary of the year mm. and in order to intimidate them, you now impose passing on them. Yeah. So that they will not have very little to speak. They're not them. just criminal, they're you wicked. They are wicked. These people are wicked. So oh, you better not to let them say, Oh, I'm hungry. You now impose fast. Ah. Because the money they're supposed to use to feed themselves, you collect it, you collected it from them in the name of first food flat salad uh, uh, food. Is a wicked person. And for, that them does that. To, for, the, for them not to say they want this or this, that you now impose hmm. uh, fast on them. Hmm. That's wickedness. Thank this you. Wickedness. This people are evil. Thank you. Thank evil. you. So even this, this year, like I said yesterday, this year now they don't have much to say because the people are beginning to question. Hmm. People eyes are opening. You said your causes, you said your prayer that these people will die. This. And the people you pray because they are still alive. So the question now, we got you call for. And people will not soon depart from those area. <laughs> Thank you for the good work you are Thank doing. you. Brilliant. Thank you. You see your life, Adeboye. Nobody is scared of you anymore. Somebody just wrote there that what's the difference between Adeboye and Kasali? Does anybody know the difference between Adeboye and Kasali? We don't know. So for you guys, right, you've been mentioning Kasali a lot. Um, tomorrow I wanted to do Oyedepo or um, what's this other Didiri? Uh, Olukoya, Olukoya or Oyedepo. I want to do their own prophecies. But you know what, to be honest, I'm a little bit tired of prophecies right now because it's just so much crap. But I will do it. It's not really about me, all right? It's about what is needed and how we need to get the message out there. So, and then I still have Tasali to do. So let me know exactly which one to do. Either Ade, uh, either Oyedepo, Olukoya, or Kasali. Let me know. I have an inclination you guys are going to go for the other guy but let me know i want to know my what you guys are thinking because some people write in my inbox and said i have to do this kasali but the kasali thing is just so obvious but apparently a lot of people are sucked into this that they um they they believe him as a man of god okay toyosi is saying kasali all right keep writing your comments let me uh continue with this video yeah this is election year and anything i say will be twisted by by who? <laughs> by politicians. I wonder if they gave them a cue in that church and say everybody should say politician. Because I can't imagine as much the Darians would be under one roof. I know that Nigeria is full of um, shitholes, right? But I can't believe that there will be so much the Darians under one roof. Why would they say politician? Again, we've established already that no politicians have ever said anything about this man. In the public domain, at least. We haven't seen anything. So he's blatantly lying. So he tells you that he's a liar. Guys, if you want me to do Kasali, send me videos as well. But I have a couple of videos myself. But send me videos. So Lord, I want to know what's the new year going to be like. Why do you want to know when you are afraid, Daddy Boy? Stop lying. Ah. And yet, I'm even afraid that if you tell me and I tell them, it will be twisted. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, thank God for God. Liar is going to start the story of lying. He himself is the Judas. He can't even look at them in the in the eyes. He turned away and said, Oh, thank God for God. Oh, thank God for God. Liar. Liar. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's a good thing to be close to God. Self-aggrandizing. It's a good thing to be close to God. So the rest of the people are not close to God, so they don't hear God. Liar. Judas, the son of Judas. So he's going to tell the story where the story began, where he betrayed God, Jesus, but he's not going to tell what he did. What he did after God, and he said that is God's code. Yeah, God gave code about Judas. Then you are the Judas. I beg you this year, be close to him. So the Lord reminded me, he said, that's no problem. You remember when at the table, the last supper I had with my disciples, when I said that uh, 
one of them will betray me. And they were asking who will do it, who will do it. And uh, Peter beckoned to John, my beloved, and said, you ask him, he will tell you. And John asked me. And, I and John, John asked me. I mean, so, oh, guys, I, I can't stand this type of lying. Do you know how it feels? It just feels like somebody is lying on my father. I mean, my, my, like my biological father, somebody is blatantly lying on my dad. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All I said I should leave Tasali because it's not a pastor, it's a babalao. <laughs> True says, who is Kasali, a drug dealer? So the same story, another day, another event, another scenario. You know, no, it's, it's nothing related to the reason why he said the first, the use this same story. This is another thing. He's using this same story when he wants to tell people that God has special people, the elect. He then used the same story to tell people that God gave him, uh, told him just like he told John. You know, he's already said that God is an elect of God and John is God's beloved. And now he's using the same story to tell you that God told him certain things just like he told John. He's, but he's not telling you the end of the story. That he himself is the, Lucy, is, is the Judas. Oh, I won't mention his name. But I will take a little bit of bread, put it in this shoe, and put it in his mouth. He said we can still... He's a liar. That's not even what Jesus said. Yes, he put a bread somewhere, and then in which stew? He's, he's going to cook in a, uh, at a dindi or something. Bread and at, I mean, the whole the guy is just ridiculous. He's just using syncretism. It's what he knows as a Nigerian boy. He's, 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 I think he thinks that him and Jesus, God are on the same level. You know, they think that they, they are on the same category or something. It up in codes. <sighs> in codes. So, codes. <laughs> you see how he's laughing exactly how Judas would. So, good, Judas would go and then kiss Jesus. Mm -hmm. Kiss Jesus and smile like he loved Jesus. This is exactly how this guy is acting. Glory be to God. For the international scene, Joel chapter 2 from verse 28 to 32. Liar. Joel 2. This is just pure plagiarism. This guy is just stolen the apostles' um, prophecies that was written thousands of years ago that thousands of people have seen, billions of people have seen, and they've gone past. And he's now owning it as his own that that is what Jesus told him as the prophecy for 2019. So he just bamboos people with lies and deception. Just lies and deception. It's rubbish. So today, I, as I did, I promise, I did say yesterday that we're going to use scriptures to debunk his, his jackass story. So, um, so remember, the, so just, you know, I, I've already told you that, so I'm not even going to bother with that bit anymore. This is what we're going to go into. So I have to look for this, because I want to look at it, because this is uh, a... Um, New Testament. Thank you very much. The person that sent me this really, really helped me out. So, for those of you that like scriptures, so um, what God says about these prof uh, false prophecies. So let's let's look at it. So remember, God will honor His words more than His name. So the point here is that Adeboye is saying that he is afraid to speak the truth, right? And then God conspired with him. To give him codes, which is a lie. God does not conspire to give anybody codes. The actual reason why you would have a code is for to keep something a secret. Just like Judas, the father of Oadeboye, he kissed Jesus as a code to tell the... I have that story here somewhere. Let me see if I can... So Matthew direct, directly stated that Judas betrayed Jesus for a bribe of 30 pieces of silver by identifying him with a kiss. Okay? the kiss of Judas to arrest so to, to arresting soldiers of the high priest 
Kypers, who then sent Jesus over to Pontius Pilate's soldiers. So, just like that, so this guy is now saying that Jesus conspired with him to give him code as well to tell the Nigerian people or to tell a prophecy. I mean, can you imagine God doing that? Do you serve a God that will be giving Adeboye code to tell you? So how are you going to decode it? How are you going to make it clear? God is not an author of confusion. So you have to know that Adeboye is lying in this sense. Anybody that goes to RCCG that you believe in this, you don't believe in God. Jokes apart. Okay, you don't know God, you don't believe in God, and you don't love God. So in Psalm 1382, it says, I will worship towards I will worship towards the holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For you see, God doesn't quote anything for thy truth. Everything about God is truth. For thou hast magnified thy words above all thy name. That is uh, King James Version. So I know today is Sunday. A lot of you will be already be feeling the opium of not going to church. So I think maybe it's a good day to do this now. So let me put this there. I hope it's going to be in Bible Hub. Yeah. So here we go. Let's look at the different versions of this. So we will look at the different version of this Psalm 1382. I'm not a pastor, by the way, so please... Don't shoot me. I just have common sense and I use my sound mind. That's all. I can read as well. Thank God. I can read in English and I can read in Yoruba and I can attempt other languages as well. Ah. Let's see. So New International Version says, I will bow down towards your holy temple and will praise your name for your unfailing love and your faithfulness. For you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame. Okay, that's what that says. New Living Translation says, I bow before your holy temple as I worship. I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness. For your promise are backed by all the honor of your name. That's another, pres that's another version. Even though I think that version is a bit warped. English says, I, English Standard Version says, I bow down towards your holy temple and I give thanks to your name. For your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted above all things your name and your words. So why is God going to give this thing back a code? When God has exalted his words even more than his name. Huh? Tell me. Yes, this. Tell them. Stop going to church, folks. It's a shrine. It's a cult. At best, it's a plantation. You go and you help them to sweep, right? And they do not ruin in economies. When I tell you that they are ruining economies, you don't believe me. They make you labor for them for free. That is evil. When they should go and hire a cleaner to clean the toilet and pay that cleaner and contribute to the economy, you will go and start cleaning for them and saying that you are helping, you are doing the work of God. Lie. You're not doing the work of God. You're just laboring for your slave master. If you go and be cleaning church, you're helping them. You're going to cook for pastor. You're helping them to do this. You're just working for your slave master. Simple as, okay? Take it or leave it is the truth. Berean study Bible. You're not working for God. You're not doing anything for God. They're just mummifying you. That's all they're doing. I will bow down towards your holy temple and give you thanks for your name, for thanks to your name, for your loving devotion and your faithfulness. You have exalted your name and your words above all else. New American Standard, I would, I would go to another one. And they are living large. Thank you, Adebule. While you are going to slave for them, they're living large. Oh, I'm sweeping the house of the Lord. I'm doing this for the house of the Lord. You're not doing it for no house of the Lord. You are on earth, okay? You are, God is inside of you. So you're going to bow down and you're going to sweep for free. You're just doing free labor for a slave master. Simple as that, okay? Stop deceiving yourself that you're going to the house of the Lord. You're not going to the house of anything, any Lord, all right? It's a shrine if you, if you think that. I will bow down towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your holiness and your truth. For you have magnified your words according to all your names. You see? You see? Simple as. Okay, so that's that. So we can confirm there with the scripture, even though he uses the scripture, that he's a liar. With Psalm 13, 
138, I think, too. Let's go to another scripture. Let's see. The next one is what the Bible says about false prophecies or prophets. Jeremiah 32, 20, sorry, 23, 16. So let's look at Jeremiah 20, 23, 16. Again, you know, I feel kind of reluctant to be sharing this Bible. You know what? I wasn't even the one that looked for this. It was my friend Victor that did all this. I didn't do all this at all. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just sit, I just sit here and he helped me out. I was minding my own business, JJ. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Jer is this Jeremiah Bible Hub? I use the Bible Hub because they're different versions. All right. So the international version, Jeremiah 23, 16 says, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. Ah, uh, um, mm -mm. Well, the Lord says that we should not listen to what you're prophesying to us. That is bullshit. Yeah. You see, it's there in the Bible. It wasn't me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. If you want to call the, the, the mayor, you can call Love Lounge. It's a, it's a Facebook profile called Love Lounge Calls. Okay? That's the profile name. And you call through the, the Facebook. So it says, that this is, the, this is what the Lord Almighty says. In quotes, okay? Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. I did, but you look at your life right here in Jeremiah 23, 16. They speak vision from their own minds. Only 419. All you ding bad prophets. Oh, you dick uh, Suleiman. All of you complete the dearest. Not from the mouth of the Lord. You see? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Victor. Me, yeah, I'm just sitting here, je, je, minding my own business. And I had this on land on my desk, on my desktop. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so I was just minding my own business. So you see, Jeremiah 23 16. Why don't you read that out, you false prophets? Yes, I call you false prophets. You that go and gossip with your gods, and you're saying that is our almighty God, the dearing. He says, no, and another version says, This is what the Lord of heaven's armies says to his people. Do not listen to these prophets. When they prophesy to you, Filling you with future hopes, ero lies. They are making up everything they say. They do not speak from the Lord. You see, Biko, that's why I said here, oh, minding my own business. Honestly, I am I, most of the time I just mind my own business, and this thing just come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. False prophets is written here in the Bible. Read your own Bible. I didn't. You see, I haven't even gone and checked this. I got this and I, you guys said, my friend said that, look, these are the things that God says about false prophets. Who does this look like exactly? Hmm? Can you imagine? It's, it looks exactly like a debo yo I have been prophesying. God sent me here for nya 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 Mm-hmm. English Standard Version says, Thus says the Lord of hosts, do not listen to the word of the prophets. Who prophesy to you, filling you with a vain hope? They speak visions of their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. Biko, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So three versions there I've given you. Mm -hmm. Adebole, Oyedepo, Sule Woman, Funke, and all the Nigerian pastors are messed to a messed country. Mm -hmm. You see. Berean version says, this is what the Lord of hosts says. Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They are filling you with false hope. They speak visions from their own mind, not from the mouth of the Lord. Can you see, guys? Is there simple black and white or black and blue in this version is blue. Black, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't understand this. Why anybody will listen to this dingbat? 
Why would anybody listen to a Yedepo that will say uh, something would happen to you? He's a false prophet. He can't prophesy nothing. He's a liar. Remember, he prophesied that uh, he, he prayed for uh, Jonathan. He said Jonathan will win the second time. Biko, no second time. Jonathan, you've been scammed. That man scammed you straight up. You need to go and get your money back. Did you ring? Hmm? You see, who they even wrote here? He says the Bible is very clear. That's why both prophet, previous prophecies and presents will not work. They won't work because they're lying. Okay, let's go again. Lots of scriptures. You guys that you like scriptures, scriptures. I'll give you scriptures today. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel. Let's look at what Ezekiel says. This is what Ezekiel says. Mm -mm. It's here. Ezekiel says, and mine, this is, um, this is King James Version, but I will switch it over in a minute. And my hands shall be upon the prophet that sees vanity. Yeah, God is going to put his hand on you, and it's not going to be funny. And, and that divine lie, that divine lies, they shall not be in the assembly of my people. Neither, neither that shall they be written in the, in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye, ye shall, not, shall know that I am the, the Lord God. Yeah, that's your story, Adeboye, if you don't stop. Ezekiel 13, 9. That is going to be your story. I've been telling you the story of your life. You think I'm joking. I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. This is God. God is telling you the truth now. Mm-hmm. Okay, here it's not joking. This is a warning from God, uh -huh. and it's not a prophecy, it's a warning like life and direct. Look at that boy's life here, and all the other false prophets. I'm sitting here, just minding my own business. Oh, so somebody sent this to me. I keep saying, guys, because me, I'm not a pastor. If I want to know anything about the Bible, I just go on the internet, I put it on Bible Hub, I put the subject matter there, and then I read about it in all the different versions. That's it. So, here we go. New International Version says, My hand will be against the prophets who sees false visions and utter lying divination. Adeboye. Eh? You will not say that Adeboye said only. Whenever, when you went to plagiarize um, the, the prophecies of the apostles that were written 200 years ago, and then you're, you're caught talking the dirty talk. Eh? Let's continue. They will not. Be, they will not belong in the council of my people, or be listened in the in the rec, or the listed in the record of Israel. Nor will they enter the land of Israel. They will know that I am the sovereign Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's finished. You see, Adeboye, you will know that God is the sovereign, the sovereign Lord. You will know. You will see when. Mm -hmm. You will know. Simple. It is written. This one is written, not the plagiarizing that you went to plagiarize and said that is what God told you. Only 419. Mm. New Living Translation says, I will raise my fist against the prophets. God will give you blow. Bam. He will raise his fist. Bam. Like that. All your teeth fall off. Mm? When I heard God. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, God is not ramping. Oh, I did mm. God is going to raise his fists. Mm? 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 Can you imagine? I will raise my fist against all the prophets who see false vision and make lying predictions. I did boy. Suleiman lying predictions. Somebody is going to win. This one is going to win. God is going to blow your mouth. He's going to raise his fist and punch your face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. He says it. Uh, he says it here. Ezekiel 13, 19. I will raise my fist. Yes. Against, against all the prophets. So God is going to do this and blow your head. Simple. It's not me that wrote that. Oh. It's there. Mm -hmm. It is there. It is written. I will raise my fist against all the prophets. Who see false visions and make lying predictions? Ah, Adeboye Suleiman. Hmm. I, I, I pity you. I pity your life. Oh, and they will banish from the community of Israel. You will banish from the world. Full stop. 
Mm -hmm. I will blot the name from Israel's record book. Yeah, I told you, Adeboye, you will only be remembered for plastic shares. 70 plastic shares. That's what they will remember you for. Even now, tell me. Anybody, what do you remember Adeboye for? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Plastic chairs, rod, comb. Anything else that you remember? What is Adeboye's legacy? If Adeboye should die today, don't let me influence you. What do you remember Adeboye for? If Adeboye would die today, 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 what do you know him for? One billion scammer. Tell me. Please, this is a, a genuine question. Mm -hmm. Igila, the lying prophet. Yes. Igila, they won't come to Evans gets mad. Brilliant. Blue Aqua Aquaria has given her answer. Blue Aquaria remembers Adeboye as Evans Gate man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oracle. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? What do you remember Adeboye for? I'm waiting. No, I'm waiting. Business businessman on the pulpit. Uh -huh. I remember him for lying on fooling and uh, fooling people. You see, beauty, joy, as I already said, as um, grace. Number seven to seventy. Mm -hmm. You see, number seven to seventy. Adeboye, look at it. This is your obituary that they're writing for you already. Everybody saying they remember you for seventy chairs. Uh -huh. Plastic chair, Papa from Parish Yo. Chair masters. <laughs> Magic stick. Mm -hmm. All day. Mm -hmm. Comb, comb and rod and plastic chair. Idol masters, you see, Adeboye, this is your obituary they're writing for you on Love Lounge. It's the truth. We only speak truth here. So please, okay? If you can't get to the truth, go to your darkness. This is a place of light. Magic wand, hey, comb seller, hey, Rodda. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Rodda is. Mm -hmm. Baba Lawo, lying prophet. Mm -hmm. You see? I just sit here. I said, what do you remember Adeboye for? Me, when they mentioned Adeboye, what I remember is manipulation. I remember lies. I remember 70 plastic chairs and you're doing your hands like this. This is all I remember. I remember you saying, pray to the road. Start praying. I remember you combing your hair. The hair that is not there. Going forward. Going backwards. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. Bro. Uh, in Jesus name. Uh -huh. That's what I remember. Yahoo Pastor. <laughs> Baba code. <laughs> Causing traffic, old dub, Shagamu Expressway. You see your life. That's what they remember you for. Maybe Baba deducing from what Oracle said, or he is putting more. Maybe we won't care. You're going back. Fake humbleness. Ah, thank you very much. Oh, who wrote this one? Oh, Victoria, correct girl. Think fake humbleness. Yahoo guy. Yeah, hey. Pay your tithe or no blessing. You see, merchandising of, of the gospel. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Let me see. Oh, let me see the scripture twister. Aha, uh -huh. you mentioned twister, and then I knew yourself they're calling you twister. You see your life. What else? Oh, Chinese chair, <laughs> Chinese chair. I don't believe it's a backcoded. Uh -huh. Is a mathematician con artist with artificial intelligence co <laughs> coding. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Three mad men. Uh -huh. You see. You are the combination of the three mad men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Raphael said that. False humility. Helen. Brilliant. I remember two billion naira requests. Oh, Moli. You see? They remember. I mean, can you look at all the things that have been listed? Can anybody please? I, I, I want to apologize now. Please, in advance. Do you remember Adeboye for anything good? That is, that is a good thing that you want to say. Please. Let's try, okay? It's not dead yet, so let's try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Business center. Can somebody say hallelujah? Okay, at least that one is good. <laughs> Can somebody say hallelujah? Uh -huh. They remember you for that during hallelujah. Okay, Nigeria, okay. Remember that they, that they say that I, I, uh -huh. Doka said he will remember you that daddy say da daddy say the during talking the during daddy say okay Baba wasted uh -huh. father of deception Gladys is saying that uh -huh. billion naira beggar check uh -huh. <laughs> billion naira beggar are you guys a savage oh 
Tanquila. <laughs> Adam, you're so right. It's not even funny. Time killer. Mm -hmm. No tight, no heaven. Banker is saying, of course. Music as she is. <laughs> ah. Leke, your daddy is for your hand, though. Your daddy finished you now. Bomboyke, you see? Bomboy. Mm -hmm. Storyteller of lies. Uh -huh. You see? Joyce is saying, Baba, no tight, no heaven. Morayo again as well. Ten people to donate one billion naira only. Dokas. Dokas is saying. That's what they remember you for. Separating families. Wow. I basically that is for you. They remember you for separating families. I do too. You and your wife, I remember you for separating families. Putting animosity between parents and their children. Trying to take over the parents' the parents' position when you never look after them as a baby, you didn't feed them as as young children, you didn't send them to school. So you want them to come and tell you before they get married, you are evil, you are evil, like boy. You and your family, you're all evil. Full stop. Mm -hmm. Lucky, please go and sit down, the during. You that you're not slave, who do you represent? You're not slave. The, the rest of the people are slave. Who, you are not slave. So who do you represent? Go and sit down. Money milked like a cow. <laughs> Victoria said that money milks like a cow. Okay. Bab rebellious lake. Bab rebellious lake. Okay, I think it's Bab rebellious lake. Uh, Bauti Balawa bandits. Kala said Bauti Babalawa bandits. <laughs> Political godfather. That's what they you see. You see all your you see what people remember you for. So at least you have a privilege now. Adeboye, to know what your obituary is going to look like. Look at all the names that they've called you now. Block road and disturbing other people on a bad expressway. Brilliant. All is written. I remember him that the freeze and DSA students. Uh -huh. Pluto. <laughs> Baba arrest who put Victor on Kiring. His was said, Yes, you are afraid of uh, afraid of TB Joshua. He's afraid of God. He's afraid of TB Joshua. You see? Mm -hmm. His own God, not, not proper God. Oh. Uh, Baba of cookies. <laughs> you guys are savage. You remember him as Baba of cookies. He's raised poppy robbers in Nigeria. Yes. My daddy say yes. Mm. You did say he re you remember you me remember him for raising puppet robbers in Nigeria. Scammer, political pastor, yes, political godfather. Never in this world good things care. Ah, so nobody can give me anything good. I hear only one that says hallelujah. He has on unaffordable university. Ah, laying hands on Jonathan to win election. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> A festival of lies. Jai, come, come your hair front. <laughs> Raphael said that faithful, faithful old man that doesn't want to die. Baba don't suffer for you now. <laughs> True, Edere is not even suffering. This one is easy letting him go. Me, I want you to go. I want you to go to heaven. Repent and stop this nonsense. Adeboye. Stop it now. Hmm? Baba spiritual father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do say that DSA plan are not here. Uh, Don Frost is telling Jemima something. They see false vision and speak lie, divination. They, they, they claim those declares the Lord. Yes, we just read that. So, so God says, let me continue, guys. Keep writing your comments, what you, what you will remember Adeboye for. Uh, <clears throat> I will raise my first, my feast against the prophet who sees false vision and make lying predictions and they will be banished from the community of israel i will blot their the names from israel records book and they will never again see food in their own land you see you see your life life they will know that i am the sovereign lord okay well done thank you now i'm going to go to the next scripture so that was ezekiel matthew 24 24 that one says, for they, in, um, what version? The, the version that is difficult to read. I'm going to do that. For there, for there shall arise false Christ. Oh, right. Christ. 
and false prophets and shall shew great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect whoa 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 it's not possible if it was possible they would delete they would deceive the elect so let's see where that is uh okay it's matthew 24 24 let's see what bible bible hub says here we go let me go on bible hub here we go it says new international version you can see it there it says for false messiahs and false prophets would appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive if possible even the elect new living translation says for false messiahs and false prophets those are the tb joshua the adipo yedi oyedipo oyedipo lies like no no man's business can you imagine you know what i heard recently that oyedipo was i, I think i said it earlier Oyedipo called his people together and said that whoever wants to leave him, they should leave him because the vision is 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 his vision, it's not their vision. It's his vision, the daring. Ingrate, bloody ingrate bastard. Yes, you are Adeboye. Uh, and Oyedipo. Oyedipo, especially, I'm talking to right now. After you've wasted all their life, they're going to go and God will return everything that they've lost. But you are an ingrate bastard. After you wasted their time, you wasted their life, and you'll come and say, eh, it's not your vision, it's my vision, it is my God. Who even know your own God, who is even self? Who is that your God, self? Hmm? Ah, chai. As soon as I get some information about that, me and you, we go see. Mm -hmm. We will see on this platform here. Mm -hmm. uh, for false messiah and false prophets will rise up and perform great signs and wonders so as to deceive. If possible, even God's chosen ones. You see? You see? You hear? Open your ears, oh. These people will deceive even God's chosen. Even if you're a believer, you believe in God and you love God. Oyedepo will still deceive you. Adeboye will still deceive you. All those people that sit there, it's not that they don't love God. But they're still being deceived by false prophets. You know? So just wake up. Don't be deceived. Mm. Yeah, I'm saying my own, no. Oh. For false for for false Christs, Christs and false prophets will appear wherever it has an S because there's only one Christ and wherever it has an S in Christ or gods it's not, it's not the true gods okay and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders that would deceive even the elect if they were pos if that were possible. So he's saying that it was, it's not possible in this barrier. He's saying it's not possible for them to deceive you if you are of God. That's what he's saying. Okay. If you are for God. Hmm. This is happening. Oh, sorry guys on Instagram. Sorry, I turned it to the studio. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. I'm trying to do this fast. So let me go to the next scripture. Is Timothy for Second Timothy four to three? Oh no, excuse me. Second Timothy four, three, and four. Yeah. Let me copy that. <clears throat> Sorry, oh, I'll be a little bit faster. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't even need to do on this. Here we go. Second Timothy 4 3. That says, For the time will come when people will not put up the sound doctrine. Adeboye, no sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires. Adeboye, Oyedepo, Oyakilome, Suleiman, Chris Okafo, Ibiomi. They will rather. I, I, they, will, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itchy ears wants to hear. You see? False doctrine everywhere. Who's this nuisance? Shut up and stop talking to men of God. Anyway, you've shut yourself up already by using Chinese signs to write your name, Didier. Wanna be? Please go and sit down somewhere. I'm not interested. 
Anyway, for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and awesome teaching. They will follow their own desire and will look for teachers who will teach them whatever their itchy ears want to hear. You know, this is a prime example of what is happening. And I must actually pause here and ponder. This is talking to the congregation. This one is not even talking to Adeboye or Yedepo or any of them. He's talking to you that went to church today. Even though you know that they're lying to you. You that are seeking prophets. All of you that demanded that Adeboye bring out prophecy. When you know that he's not talking to God. He doesn't have anything to do with God. All of you that are baiting and waiting for him to speak. You are the one that caused him all this yawa that he's getting now. Because you're waiting. This is you. This is your scripture. The scripture here is for all of the people that are still going to winners. You're going to all those places. Giving those people an audience. It says for a time is coming. That time is here. When people no longer listen to sound and awesome teaching. Nobody is interested in the truth anymore. So you get people like Adeboye, like Oyedepo to lie to you. And give you false prophets. Prophecies. They will follow their own desire and look for teachers. You found teachers. You are the one that found Adeboye or Yedepo. You found them. They didn't come to your house at the end of the day. Let's be frankly honest. You found liars. And then you will follow their own, they, you will follow your desire and will look for teachers who will teach you whatever your itching ears want to hear. It's your ears that is itching. That is why you carry the God inside of you and you go into a shrine. You go to one dress sister shrine. And they will lie to you. They will take your money and then they will dump you. They will waste your life. You see? Here, I'm minding my own business. You see? Mm hmm Yeah, I'm minding my own business here. Doing what, what God wants. That's another code. Adepule said that's not that's not a code. Adepule is clear. This one is clear. It's not a code. Mm -hmm. Let me. I want to finish this. More, more, more. Let me get the last. Okay, I'm four. Okay, let's see what four says. Uh, okay. So Second Timothy four three. I just read. So Second Timothy four four says. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. Myths is a code. Okay? Brilliant. God, Victor, you're the best. Thank you very much for these scriptures. It's not my scripture. I don't know. You gave it to me. Like, you know, use these ones. They make sense. And I, and I said, okay, I will use it. I'm not a pastor. Please. Mm -hmm. I'm not a pastor. Look at what four says. Paul is talking about exactly what Adeboye did now with these prophecies that he gave for 2019. They will turn their ears away from the truth. So there was no truth. It has to give you codes. And turn aside to myths. Code is a myth. Is a myth. Loving lies. You see what Ufama says? That that's the crux of the matter. People love lies and darkness rather than light and truth. Hmm? Can you imagine? Lies and darkness. How sad is that? To know that you prefer lies and darkness. You prefer to go and sit in a room or in a building with 1,000, 100,000 capacity or even 20,000 or even 10,000 or even 5,000 capacity and you sit there and you listen to lies and you want to listen to myth, prophecy. Huh? Huh? This is sad. We are not going to speak in Kozo, Owoye, Owoyo. No. We are going to speak in truth. Truth is light. Wherever there is light, there is no darkness there. The code is darkness. Okay? Code is mystery. Code is myths. It's not true. It's not of God. God does not do code. Okay? This is evil. This is what we are doing. They will turn you will turn, they said they will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. That's Adeboye, myth. Oh Yedepo, come, I'll make you rich while he's making himself rich and you're getting poor. Can you imagine? Lies. Another version. And indeed they will turn away from the hear from hearing the truth and will be turned aside unto myth. Oh, Ile, okay, thank you very much. I've seen that. 
we will you win yen win ulukoya and your people you win yen win win i haven't finished with you ulukoya i've got lots of videos no worry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, let's go to martin 7 15. i'm just going to go directly Uh oh this is what happened when you try to cut corners i try to do this fast with the url it's not having it okay here we go <clears throat> matthew 7 15. Is there no Matthew 7 15? Okay, there is. <laughs> okay. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing. I didn't even see this scripture before I said that this guy is a wolf. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inward they are ferocious wolves. Look at this. Can you imagine? Look at this. He says, Let, Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep but are really vicious wolves. This is Adeboye's name all over the place. He's written all over this, this scripture. Matthew 7 15. Jemumaya, go and sit down. The during. Let's go. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are revenous sheep wolves, evil people. Next one. I think this is the final scripture. Oh, that's it. That's the final scripture. So, guys. I think this is going to be it for today. Beware of Oye Adeboye. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Or is it, yeah, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Simple. I said it, and you know it. Hmm? It's a shame. Ah, Helen wrote it out for us as well. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are revening wolves. Matthew 7 15. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Charles. Guys, I appreciate you all. I love you. Thank you for your time daily. So tomorrow now, I think we've settled at either Oyedepo or Lukoya or uh, some people said I shouldn't do Kasali, but some people said I should do Kasali as well. So I think just to be fair, I might just do this Kasali guy, okay, um, at some point. Yeah, you know, I just don't have no appetite for him. It's a total waste of time. You know, it's just cursing. And, you know, I know I've said this before and some people don't agree with me when I said that because he's... Um, is is god disability you know those kind of disability also they do affect you mentally so um the guy have to extra scam you know i i understand the plight of nigeria i'm not making excuses for him and i think that's more reason why i should do it as well i on the one hand i think is more reason why i should do it but you know if you have a disability in nigeria you're you're a forgotten person so you live by scamming people if people will think of you as a deity for you to live a good life, you will lie if you have to lie. I don't subscribe to it and I don't agree with it. I'm just saying, you know, but for the sake of the people that believe that is of God, is the reason that I'm going to do it. That this guy um, is subscribed, it's just a scammer. Just like Adeboye and Oyedepo, it's just a scammer like them. It's not better scammer or it's not a worse scammer. It's a scammer. A scammer is a scammer, you know? And that's the reason why I would do him, okay? So... Um, I know you're saying no point, but you have to understand. You have to understand from the point of view of those people that think that he is of God. 
then we need to because we're not doing it for the benefit of those who already knows the truth we do this for the benefit of those who don't know the truth so that's the reason why i'm going to do it i've actually made up my mind by having this convert this um discussion with you because we we can't be light all of us light in the room we have to be light to the darkness of the world so that's the reason i'm going to do kasali i'm afraid i will do him yeah we do too. Thanks, Mayawa, for this sunny day. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Femi. So, guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Please don't be scammed and don't scam. Okay? As I say all the time, that, and I'm talking to myself too, is one hand to say that we shouldn't do certain things. Right? Uh, or people, we shouldn't allow other people to scam us. But we ourselves should stop scamming. I was having a conversation and something occurred to me. I'm sure all of you have experienced this before in, in your home, in your relationships, in your life, where we are talking about politicians being thieves. But even in the house, people are thieves. Even in school, even children are thieves. Let me give you this example. And we have to have this discussion at one point in, in, a, in Love Lounge. Because if somebody, in, in, is very, this is a very prevalent um, situation. School says a book costs 100, 100 um, naira. The teacher comes and tells the student that the books cost 150. He pockets 50 naira. The child, the child goes home and tells the mom that the books cost 200 naira. Pockets 50 naira. Mom tells dad that the book costs um, 250. She pockets 50 naira. Okay? Dad goes and tells his friends and said, Ah, I just paid for my child's school fees. It's 500 naira. You see? Corruption everywhere. Corruption with everything, everything, everybody is, a, is corrupt. From that is from school. Oh. School says the book is 100 naira. Even though the school have added, the government gave the book to the school for free. Told all the students that it's 100 naira. Teacher said it's 150. Well, a student goes home and tell mom, and mom and told mommy that it's 200 to pocket 50 naira. The mom told dad it's 250. Dad was talking to his friend and said it's 500. Liars everywhere. From home, from right from the house, live from, from house to school to everywhere, lies everywhere. Doesn't that resonate with you? Don't you know that happens even in your own house? How many times have you added extra extra money into any everything? You see something for one price, it's like ah, let me make a little profit though. Mm -hmm. Lies everywhere. So as I say this, yeah. <laughs> At the places I've used all my energy to love. That's good. I'm glad. So as I say this, that don't be scam. You too, don't be scammer. Huh? Don't be scammer. You're crying, crying. Governments are corrupt. You yourself in your life, you're corrupt. In your house, you're corrupt. They give you a gift. You go home. You say, oh, they gave you half of it. They gave you money. How many of you did they give money? And when you go to your husband or your wife, you say, oh, they gave you 200. They said, oh, they gave you 100. Even children, they do that. Somebody give them money. They go and use some money to buy sweets. And then they will come home and say, oh, they gave me this amount. I don't know. I says, who did we offend to you alone? We offend ourselves. We need to change our ways. Stop looking on other people that we offend. It is us. <laughs> the polluted Nigerian thoughts modernize their forefathers' oracle. Huh? If everybody wants to be a fast guy, stop it already. Helen, yes. Huh? I love you this too. Can you imagine exactly who who were? <laughs> Can you imagine? So these things happens everywhere. Before you say government corrupt, who born government? Which church the government go? Which must the government go? In your house, corruption is there every single day. Your mom is corrupting your dad. Your dad is corrupting your mom. You grew up in corruption even. In your, in your village, corruption is happening there. And you say that it's government. You're pointing fingers. Start from you. Start from yourself. 
Stop corrupting everybody. If something is one naira, give it for one naira. God will bless you. Don't be, uh, I'm going to be smart. Eh? Yahoo, Yahoo everywhere. Pastor wants to build a building that is going to cost 100,000. He says it's 1 million to embellish money. You see, corruption everywhere. Everybody is alagbari. Everybody just wants to corrupt your minds. Ah. Yes, we are in war with ourselves. I agree with Kanye's quote. I don't know if it's originally from Kanye, but that's a good one. So before you open your mouth and say government is corrupted or they are corrupt, please look into yourself. Your chief commander of corruption. Before your church corrupt you and scam you, you are a scammer too. Why would somebody tell you to come and put seed to get what you didn't work for? And you want to work for, you want to get that thing to get what you didn't work for. You are only admit it to yourself that you're a thief. They'll tell you to sow, you get hundred field, hundred hundred fold. Why? What you didn't sow? What you, you didn't put hundred there? Why would you get hundred? If you get hundred, please give it back or leave it. You shouldn't be taking. It's like somebody giving you a change. You buy something, they give you more change. Okay. Can you imagine? This I'm I'm fed up with all this. It's an undeclassable war. Can you imagine? Hmm? Who are? I don't know where to even start. There's too much to talk about. Well, on the one hand, I want to talk about first fruit. I want to talk about Oyedepo. I want to talk about Ulukoya. I want to talk about Kasali. I want to talk about Maru's morals and values. I want to talk about um, cultural uh, uh, dogmas. I want to talk about uh, traditions that is killing women, that is killing men. There's too much. Where do we even... Ah, where do... Ah. Yeah. Helen, we have to start from ourselves. It's too much. Please, speak to people. When you see these things happening, don't participate in it. You're, you will see it happening. They will call you mumu. They will say that you don't know what you're doing. You're all there. You're this. They will say all sorts of things. You see, talk about first food, talk about Mr. Bring it, Ulukoya, talk about it's too much. Where do we even start? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reading your comment. This case that even the child in the womb collects bribe during labor before delivery. Bribe everywhere. I'm tired. When I just sit down, I'm thinking, where, where do you even start from? Okay, guys, I love you. I appreciate you. You know, um, we will come back tomorrow. We will do one of these things. There's so many to go with, but we will do one of them and just address it one by one. We have to do something if we don't. You know, nobody is going to change it for us. We will perish, you know, and we're still going to be God's people. He says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. We have to seek this knowledge and we have to take it by force. Okay? We have to understand by force. You know? I, ha I have to go now. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you very much for your time. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. This time is um, 